Yeah. So for an agent that's that wants to start tackling these two lead sources, what would you recommend is a schedule that they need to follow from maybe the time they start making the calls? Like, what would that look like? Is it expires first for sale by owners? Or how would you divide that up? New expired at 8am local time. Yeah. And with Vulcan 7, they, they have all their phone, the phone numbers like right there. You, they, you even, it even dials for you. I used to dial every number with my finger, look up phone numbers on my own. Like, you know, agents have it so easy these days. With Vulcan, such an incredible service. 8 a.m., local time, you're calling new expires. They're only new the day they expire. If they expire today, tomorrow, they're old. It's like you have to have urgency mm -hmm. because a lot of them... Once I learned, like I start, like my third year, I started feeling, okay, I'm kind of a little better. And then my fourth year, I started feeling more and more confident. By that point, 80% of the expireds I listed were same day. I called them in the morning and I had the listing at the end of the day. So think about that. If you, if, you, know, if you don't call them early in the morning, what happens too is, a lot of them, you know, I have clients to this day that say this to me. Well, you know, I'm calling and they're not answering the phone. Nobody answers the phone. Okay, what time are you calling? Oh, 9, 30, 10. Sure, they've already, re they've gotten 50 calls. They stop answering the phone. Even if they want to sell, they already set one, two or three appointments. They've had so many agents calling. Of course, they're not going to answer them. They don't recognize the number. They don't answer the phone. So expires first thing. And then the new FISBOs too. Then I would go to older expireds in chronological order, backwards FISBOs. Of course, they need to call their past clients and sphere of influence. I never did that, but that was a mistake. Uh, you know, I, it, there was such, um, I don't know, it's almost like a, an adrenaline junkie, you know, and you call an expired or a FISBO and you can take that person and say, no, I'm not in. And then a few minutes later, they give you an appointment, you go take a listing. I mean, I thrived on that. So to me, I understand past clients fear, you know, it's like mm -hmm. your future business and all that, but I wanted a listing today. And I knew that if I talked to those people, I could get a listing today, but then, you know, you end up with, it was fun. I mean, I don't regret it. I made it my thing and it worked out. Yeah. But um, but agents should obviously call their past clients fear of influence and then go to circle prospecting, just listed, just sold. Results will exactly. show up. If you're talking to enough people, yeah. you're going you're gonna to get business for sure. And as you get better and better, the number of people you have to talk mm -hmm. to to actually take a listing go down. My first year, I was horrible. I mean, it was just off. I thought it was amazing, but you know, my, my ratios were not that great. And then as you continue to improve your skills, your mindset, exactly. are getting, it, it becomes easier. They don't get easier. You just get better and it's easier for you. So 